Hi friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. In this video, you will learn OpenAI API's chat completions curl command detailed walkthrough. This is the curl command which is used to send a request to the OpenAI API and then get the response back from the GPT model. So in this one, we are going to use GPT model 3.5 Turbo. Let me explain each terms of chat completions curl command. Now let's see OpenAI API completion curl commands. This is the curl command which we copied from platform.openai.com website from the create completion. When you put all of this together and send it to the OpenAI API using the curl command, you are instructing the GPT 3.5 turbo model to generate a response based on the provided message and the parameters. And the model's response will be generated considering the input message and the desired level of randomness indicated by the temperature parameter. Let me explain each terms one by one. So this is a curl command. We have curl and then https colon slash slash api dot openai dot com slash v1 slash chat slash completions. Now what is this all? Let me show you. So let me, you know, explain these terms one by one. What is curl? Curl stands for client URL. C for client and URL. And this is a command line tool used for making request to the URLs. Now what is this URL? To which URL? To this api.openai.com, this URL. So now this is the base URL for the OpenAI API. And using this application can and using this application can access API service. Now what is this V1? So V1, whenever we see this V1 or V A number, it means this is the version, right? So this V1 is the API version which is being used to make a request to open AI API. Now chat slash completion. Now what is this? So this shows which object is being used. This is used to make chat based completions using the GPD model. We have few other objects like we have text completions, chat completion, file objects, image, audio like audio transcription, something like that. We have lots of things. You can learn about this one in details from here. You can learn about it, this uh, objects like you can see here. Let me show you. So if you'll come to this, you can see object equal to chat dot completion. So we are using this. If you'll go to audio, so you can see audio transcriptions. So this is going to use object of audio transcription. Here we have a completions that is going to use this completion is different. This is you going to use text completion object. We have embedding embedding is going to use embedding object we have fine tuning right so there are multiple things we have you can just go through this you can learn about that one now what is this all this uh, url called this https api.openai.com v1 chat completions this is called endpoint endpoint is used to make api requests to the openai gpt platform and now let me explain this complete command. We have H D content type application, JSON authorization model messages, temperature role and content, right? Let me explain this. So H and then content type application slash JSON. So here H stands for header and with the content type and value application slash JSON. JSON, what is the JSON? JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. This indicates that the data being sent is in the JSON format. So we are going to send the data to the API server in JSON format. Now authorization bearer OpenAI API key. So this includes an authorization header with an API key for authentication. Now we have D and then it starts 
with this curly brackets and here closing curly brackets right and then we have some data here like model message these things now this d stands for data right which is used in the request body to make an http request now let me explain this data this one this model message and temperature role and content model gpt 3.5 turbo so first you can understand this is in the json format right model is a property and this is the value it's like a key and value right so this specify the model you want to use for generating a response in this case you are using gpt 3.5 turbo model which is highly capable language model developed by openai now messages and then inside this you can see role user content say this is a test so this is a conversation message that you want to use as a input for the model and it's an array of object it's an array of message object you can see after this message you can see there are two uh, we can say as a property like role and content role has a different value that user and content has a different value that is say this is a test this is basically a content that we are going to pass to api server so this we say in chat gpt is a prompt so this content is a prompt now we have role user this indicates the role of the message sender this in indicates the role of the message sender in this case it is the user interacting with the model so here we have we are passing user and the role is the user means we are saying that that it is the user that interacting with this gpt model you can also use role assistant or system now we have content and then value is say this is a test this is the content of the message that user sends to the model and receive the response back from the gpt model so whatever you will pass in the content and based on that content based on that temperature and the role and then model you will get the response now the last one that is temperature 0.7 the temperature parameters controls the randomness of the generated output a higher value like 0.7 makes the output random more diverse and creative while a lower value like 0 or 0.2 makes the output more focused you can click on this playground from platform.openai.com and then you can learn more from here so we have the temperature value 0 to 2 right you can set the value between 0 to 2 you can play with this so let's say if you're asking a question that who was the first president of India and you have set a temperature as a zero so you'll get a clear output like the first president of India was Dr. Rajinder Prasad now if you'll ask same question with the temperature 0 0.7 or 1 then it may give you some additional story it, it might give you some additional output there which will be like um, he served from this to this time right it can also include some other things so this is called temperature and this is one of the parameter that we are passing to api